Hi friends, welcome to Code Refer YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please click on this subscribe button to receive all the updates. Also click on the bell icon to be the first to receive the notifications about all the latest videos from Code Refer. Hello everyone, this is Vamsi from CodeRefer.com and in this video tutorial, we'll be discussing about higher order functions in brief using practical examples using Kotlin programming language. So let's get started. So what you will be learning by the end of this video. So we will be discussing about what is higher order functions and use cases of higher order functions and practical examples using Kotlin programming language. What is a higher order function? A function is called as a higher order function if it is accepting another function as a parameter or if it is returning a function. What are the advantages of higher order functions that gives an edge over normal functions? If we closely observe, higher order functions will call or receive entire code block thereby decreasing the code length and significantly helps in code maintainability. Higher order functions also increases readability. So enough of the theory and let's dive into higher order functions practical examples. So let's see the first example of function accepting a function. In this practical example of how function accepts another function, let's quickly create a Kotlin class named function accepting function.kt. Next, we will be declaring a main function. We will be creating a list of integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 using list of in Kotlin. Next, we will be using existing for each where it can accept a lambda expression. If we quickly see it is accepting lambda expression in its third form so it is taking integer as a parameter and it is returning unit what is our thought is we will be iterating through this list and we will be printing each one of them so I'm calling iterator so iterator print ln of iterator star iterator so that it will be printing the square of each list item so I am running this code block to see its output so it is 1 4 9 16 25 so every list item is squared off so in fifth line we are using lambda expressions so these lambdas will be explained in our next video and links will be updated in the description so next one is a function returning a function so let's see a practical example of how function returns another function so let me quickly create a kotlin class named function returning function So I am creating main function and I am also creating another function. Let me name it as area. Which returns a lambda expression. This lambda with input parameter as int and output parameter as int so I'll be returning a lambda expression so lambda expression starts with open and close braces so I want to find the area of a square so I if I input a parameter with I so it should be returning some value like I star I so that is how I will find my area. So I am so I am declaring area of rectangle is equal to area. So here I am referencing this area with variable area of rectangle. So now I can use this area of rectangle and pass it the value of any integer so that I can print the area of the respective 
integer so if i quickly run this so here i am printed with 25 and 100 so this is how uh, higher order function works using kotlin so that's the higher order function for this video guys if you really like this video click on like button and if you didn't already subscribe please click on that subscribe button and if there are any queries you can contact us at support@coderefor.com at so let's meet in our next video thank you